What did you find? Uh, well, his record goes back way before the Federation even existed. He was a major in the United Earth Military Assault Command Operation. A lot of off-world combat. He was a soldier. Why has he not used his weapon yet? He wants to find somewhere to inflict maximum damage. Like on the planet? He needs a distribution deal. He needs a... <laughs> We need a distribution deal. We have one. This is Paramount, people. He needs a three-picture deal. <laughs> With perks. Why has he not used his weapon yet? Because he wants to find some more to inflict maximum damage. He needs a distribution system. You have to circulate air here, right? I saw. As an atmospheric regulator at the core. Lieutenant, contact Yorktown. Make sure they shut it down until we yes. find Crawl. How would he access the core? Uh, well, there's a maintenance tower at the station's gravitational nexus. That's the only way. Scotty, you get over there. Make sure it gets shut down. Lassie, you're with me. Heart. <laughs> Worst sound I've ever heard. <laughs> Bling. Oh. Ah. Beautiful. My name is James Tiberius Kirk of the United Federation of Planets. I'm appearing before you as a neutral representative of the Fabonon... Fabonon? Fabonin. I'm appearing before you as a neutral representative of the Fabononan mother. As a neutral representative of the Fabonin. <laughs> Fibonon. Fibonin. Fibonin. I'm appearing before you as a neutral representative of the Fabonin. 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 <laughs> My name is Captain James Tiberius Kirk. United Federation of Planets. I'm appearing before you as a neutral representative of the Fabonan Republic. I bring you a message of goodwill and present to you, esteemed members of the Tanaxi delegation, a gift from the Fabonan High Council with the highest regard. Captain! Mr. Jacob! I, I was too happy. It must represent some some sort of inter global transmorphin Action. Oh, Lieutenant <laughs> there's, so many, there's so many weird noises on <laughs> Sound like shit broke. Wide channel. Yes, Captain. Attention, crew of the Enterprise. It's too short. It's not the first girl that said that to me. <laughs> Swarm ships are 60 seconds from breaking through. I've just got to reconfigure the BHF output into a multi phasic sweep. Let's do it. Ah, Lassie, I'm Let her do it. <laughs> You do it. There, see? Simple. All right. Captain, we're ready to broadcast. But the signal won't travel far. We have to get closer. Captain! <laughs> Voice crack. Don't know where that what? came from, yeah? <laughs> because I didn't want to disappoint you, you know, in case you didn't make it back. How thoughtful, Mr. Scott. Captain. He's launching. You look like crap, Jim. Thank you, Bones. I noticed your uh, Andorian herpes has come back again. Why don't you pop by the med bay? <sighs> Listen, I'm gonna have to reduce your Cialis prescription. There's too much blood flow to your groin. Now look, you gave Nurse Chapel the Gangorian clan. I know. She's not happy about it, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> Jim, you look like crap. Thank you, Bones. You got that little vein popping out of your temple again. You okay? Never better. Just another day in the fleet. Captain, Mr. Chekhov's technical acumen makes him more valuable here aboard the Franklin with Mr. Chekhov. Mr. Sch <laughs> <laughs> Bones, Mr. Chekhov, J Leader with me on the away team. Mr. Scott, modify that transporter and then do everything you can to get this ship operational. Captain, Mr. Chekhov's technical acumen makes him more valuable aboard the Franklin with Mr. Scott. It is thereby logical that I would replace him. 
Why is that logical, Spock? You just got back on your feet. Lieutenant Uhura is in that facility, Jim. Phaser cannons have engaged, but there's just too many of them. Keep firing! Alert Starfleet and civilian agencies to begin proc... Proctology protocol. But his soldiers are everywhere. We won't pass when seen. What we require is a diversion. Biatch. I think I have an idea. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> his soldiers are everywhere. We won't pass unseen. What we require is a diversion. I think I have an idea. I can still trap, Mr. Chekhov. Full impulse, Mr. Sue. It sounds like you're doing Shatner. It's coming out right now, man. I gotta, I mean, I, I gotta follow it. This one's gonna be full shat. Watch out. <laughs> okay, all systems online. The lithium chambers at 70% and climbing. Primary subword engines standing by. Mr. Sula, you can, you know, fly this thing, right? You kidding me, sir? Fantastic. What the hell happened up there, Jim? Why were we attacked? They were after some artifact we picked up on. Fairmax, Tiermax, T-Max? T-Max. T-J Max. <laughs> I'm sorry, you're the only ones. What the hell happened up there, Jim? Why were we attacked? They were after the artifact we brought back from T-Max. Did they get it? No. Have you got it? No, I had to get it off the Enterprise and put it on a shuttle. You hid it in a shuttle? Yes. And no. <laughs> Let's just go back to the cafeteria. <laughs> I, she's a beauty, isn't she? Oh, I commend you. <laughs> Chekhov has the coordinates that can lead us to Kral's base, so we go. With respect, sir, how do we know that Kral was at the base when she called him? Even if he was, we don't know that the crew was with him. Or if they're even still alive. Mr. Chekhov, can you reconfigure the search parameters in order to compensate for this formula? Hmm, I commend her, but what is this formula? It is Vokaya, Mr. Chekhov, a mineral unique to Vulcan which emits low-level radiation. I'll have to filter out all other energy emissions. Spock, what the hell would a Vulcan mineral be doing way out here? Where are you going with this? Lieutenant Uhura wears a Vokaya amulet, which I presented to her as a token of my affection and respect. Let me just stick that back in there. Uh. <laughs> Captain, we cannot maintain... What? We are not equipped for this manner of engagement. Sorry. Captain, we are not equipped to... Captain, we are not engaged... Step <laughs> <laughs> yeah. what? Here we go. Deep breath. <laughs> Captain, we are not engaged for this level of engagement. <laughs> Sir, our phasers are having minimal effect and our torpedoes can't track their movement. Fire everything we've got. Captain, we are not equipped for this manner of engagement. I'm sorry, I don't know what that made me laugh. Can you lock onto the signal? Mm, yes, but how do we get to them? I have an idea, sir. <laughs> realize that which one simply does not understand, Doctor. <laughs> oh, sorry. You want to? I found this in Chekhov's locker. Well, hello. Oh, that is good. Lordy. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Mm. 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 Oh. Oh. <laughs> Whoo. <Whoa. laughs> Never in my life heard you make that noise. <laughs> Sounds mildly sexual. Sorry I'm late. Keenzer's leaking some kind of highly acidic green goo, and Scotty's terrified he's gonna sneeze on the warp core and kill us all. <laughs> the hell are you drinking? Uh, pretty sure it's the rest of that Saurian brandy we picked up on Thesis. My God, man, are you trying to go blind? That stuff's illegal. Besides, I found this in Chekhov's locker. Wow. 
Wow. Right? I mean, I always assumed he'd be a vodka guy. A vodka man. guy, exactly. I wanted to have something appropriate for your birthday. Ah, it's in a couple days. You know I don't care about that. I know. I know you don't like celebrating it on the day, because it's also the day your paw bit the dust. I was being sensitive. Did they teach you about bedside manner in medical school? It's just your southern charm. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's good. Lordy. <laughs> Are you going to call your mom? Yeah, of course I'll call her in the day. When you're older. Yeah, that's usually how it works. A year older than he ever got to be. He joined Starfleet because he... He believed in it. I joined on a dare. You joined to see if you could live up to him. Uh, you spent all this time trying to be George Kirk. And now you're wondering just what it means to be Jim. Why you're out here. To perfect eyesight and a full head of hair. Kirk here. Captain, approaching Yorktown base. I'm on my way, Mr. Sulu. Let's keep this birthday thing under wraps, huh? Yeah, you know me, Mr. Sensitive. <laughs> yeah, Justin Lin, everyone! Woo!